Hey guys, this is 164 Custom Models, back with another video. It's been, been a while. Probably a few months, if not more. Um, last time I made a video, back in 2019. I've built quite a bit of trucks. Um, so, jumping in the update. Um, this truck, 2018. Let me move the second gen all the way. Uh, 2018, 2500 Cummins. I built for my buddy. Um, it's all blue, blue rims, mirrors, uh, tent strip, which I think looks really good. Still got to paint the axles and stuff and do details like that. Uh, built this truck. I'm sitting on stocks right now, this year, temporary, because I have the wheels that are on it on another truck. Um, control arms. Frame don't look really good, or frame don't look very good right now. But it's got drive shafts, control, or traction bars, control arms, fast, um, XDP. Uh, first time doing double cat stacks. Um, got a stand slice sticker because the wheels that were on it, it had pretty pretty good stance. Um, so I put a big turbo in it, if it'll focus, probably not, I can't hold nothing still either, yeah, you can see it right there, got a big single, um, I built this truck right on New Year's Eve, first truck of 2020, it's a LB7 flatbed, um, it's got a It'll stay in focus. There we go. Um, it's got green light mirrors, green light bed. It's pretty much a Jada uh, cab sitting on a green light 2018 3500 frame. Um, it's got an exhaust on it. You can see it. A little bit right there. Pretty much just an old raggedy farm truck. LB7. Sleeper. Um, we use this truck a lot. Um, my welding rig I built. Um, I named it Paycheck. Um, I can tell right there. Um, I really like this grill on the two tone. Red and gold. It's got control arms. It's got crossover steering. Uh, diff covers. Drive shafts. Put an exhaust on it. Made a custom Lincoln motor for it. And got a Yeti cooler. It's upside down. Bam. That on it. There. Got a ball hitch. Tanks. Um, I really like this truck. It's probably one of my favorites I've done. Definitely needs uh, bigger tires on it, but I uh, built this Duramax L5P. Um, traction bars. Uh, Drive shaft. I tried to do um, independent front suspension on it. This is a this flatbed came off of a Dodge green light. I had to shorten down the frame a little bit. I painted it white. Exhaust on it. Truck's got quite a bit of flex. Show truck, pretty much. Still not sure if I want to leave these wheels on it or not. These are 26s. They're really big. It's really wide, too, but... I don't know. Um, this truck, you've probably seen a thousand times. I uh, did have it lifted, and I lowered it back down. Detailed the frame. Um, yeah, put the hood stack on it. Or back on it. Um, sitting on the stocks right now. 
It's got a little wobble issue I need to figure out. Um, let's see if I can get this thing in over here. This is my le er, latest uh, 96 12 valve. These wheels were on this truck, but I don't know if I want these wheels to go on this truck or not. But I bought this off of Syntex Customs off of Instagram. Um, it was red, and I put new windows in it, um, painted it green, detailed a little bit. Frame's not finished, neither is interior, but. A little wobbly, and you put something on the axle there. Um, building this LMM Dermax. I ordered der er, ordered mirrors for it last night. Um, it's a truck I seen around local. Not too much done to it. It's gonna look sweet when I get the mirrors on it. Um. There's some other trucks, but I'm going to try and keep this video short and save most of them for the next one. A um, little update on the display here. I built a lift. It's movable up and down. Still got all the... Still just in focus. There we go. Pretty good lift. Um, built this 69. I'll show it in the next video. Along with a few other ones preview but uh thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one